What's up guys? I hope you had an amazing day, amazing Thursday, wherever you are in the world. Today I want to talk about um, expansion and going for what you want. And so often when we um, are making goals for ourselves or New Year's resolutions or any of that kind of kind of crap, we base it on what we've already done. So we look at our last year, we look at wherever we were and we're like, okay, this is where I was here. Let me just be like a little bit better and, and attract that into my life. And I just want to call bullshit on this because I truly feel like we, every single person has the power and ability to exponentially create growth in their life. And it does not have to be based on the evidence that you've had in the past. It can be based on what you actually want. What does your heart actually want? Not what you think that you can achieve, but what do you actually want? And that requires you not giving yourself five options of what you actually want. Decide what you actually want. How much money do you want to make? Where do you want to be? How do you want to feel? Where do you want to live? And be so crystal clear on that. And it does not have to have any correlation at all with where you've been in the past. Decide on what you want. The reason why we give ourselves options and the reason why we um, are like, well, these three things would kind of be okay is because we don't actually fundamentally believe that we can have, attract what we actually want. So if we end up on like plan B, C, or D, we're like, well, you know, I kind of wanted, kind of sort of wanted this anyway. Want what you actually want. Be crystal clear on what you actually want. Focus on it every single day and do not base it on where you've been. Base it on where you're at now. What is your heart calling for now? When you realize you have the power and ability to tr attract anything into your life, anything. You're only bound by the limitations that you create in your mind or someone's told you. And that's not true. You are a being of light and love and so much power, so much power. And the only limitations are the ones that you create, your fears. I can't do this. I'm not good enough. I don't have enough resources. That's the worst one. I don't have enough resources. Be resourceful. Be resourceful. We are all resourceful. And question, ask yourself, how is this fear trying to keep me safe and distance me from what I actually want? How is it serving me? Is it actually true? You know, something incredible to remember is you don't have to believe your thoughts at all. Thoughts come in and you're like, okay, cool. That's interesting. You can choose to believe it if it's aligned with the highest, best, the most authentic version of you. Or you can go, interesting, that's, that's actually not true at all anymore. I'm going to decide, make a decisive decision to not believe that and create a new belief that's actually going to empower me and is more aligned with the highest version of myself. We all have the ability to do this. For some reason, we think that we have to believe our thoughts. I have some like crazy ass thoughts all day long and I'm like, oh cool, that's interesting. I wonder where that's from. Don't identify with it. You are the blue sky. These thoughts are just the cl clouds that are just like passing by. Sometimes those clouds are really white and, and shiny and great and beautiful. And other times they're like dark and stormy and, and super negative. Don't identify with either the happy or the sad. You're just simply the observer of those thoughts. Um, yeah, go in and kick some ass today. I posted an Instagram little meme and it was about um, treating life as a game. And anytime you have resistance, there's someone in your life that is pissing you off, anything, that's just an opportunity to grow, a divine opportunity to grow. That pain as a catalyst for growth, that asshole that comes into your life is trying to teach you a lesson. And if we can approach life from that way and go, okay, cool, this is just all training to become the highest, best, and most authentic version of myself, and this is happening for me and not to me. We change our whole perception of reality. We change our whole perception of life. Try it just for today. See what happens. And if, if you're down and if it feels good and it takes you out of victim mentality and allows you to know that this pain is, is just a blessing, you can literally change your life. Mwah. Love you all. See you later.